Staying healthy today, a warning about new super bacteria. Half the patients who get infected die, according to the CDC. The enemy is a group of intestinal bacteria called CRE, practically antibiotic proof. What's scarier is that these almost untreatable superbugs alter other bacteria, so they fight off drugs as well. It's a highly contagious and spreading fast in nearly 200 hospitals and nursing homes in 42 states. The bacteria spread from patient to patient on the hands of health care workers. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorne finds local hospitals already taking action to protect patients. At a lab inside the University of Colorado Hospital. It's only of concern, without question. Lab techs here constantly review patient screenings to keep the bug out of the hospital. It's virtually resistant to all antibiotics, even the ones doctors use as a last-ditch option. In these normally friendly, less resistant bacteria that we've taken for granted that we can always treat, now we're seeing some of these infections become untreatable. Dr. Connie Price at Denver Health says her hospital is also proactively screening patients. If a patient appears to have the superbug, that person would be isolated. Looking for these organisms on admission. At Denver Health, they've had no instances of the bug at university, only two in the past several years. Antibiotic use is probably something that's contributed to a lot of the resistance that we see and may be the end result of why we're seeing this now. Doctors say antibiotics are being used way too often, allowing bacteria to morph into the untreatable kind. They say one thing you can do if you don't need antibiotics, don't use them. Exposing your body to antibiotics on a frequent basis then sort of allows these bacteria to adapt. We don't have to be the Titanic. There is time to reverse this. Russell Haythorn, 7 News. Treating the bug once it enters your system is tough, but keeping it out is relatively easy. Just as with other bacteria, you can easily kill it by washing your hands and using disinfectant wipes on surfaces. A young girl is improving after being severely burned when static electricity sparked a fire after she had used hand sanitizer. 12-year-old Ireland Lane of Portland, Oregon is talking publicly for the first time, saying she doesn't remember anything from the fire itself, just the moments right before. I was making a little paper clip holder for my nurses. Ireland was in the hospital finishing cancer treatments when the fire happened. It was a strange combination of olive oil on her shirt from a medical procedure, hand sanitizer, and the static that caused the fire. Between this and her cancer treatments, Ireland has had more than 40 surgeries.